Hey you guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video. Mason called me today and we only had like five minutes to talk on the phone, but I actually just came back from being out of town to go see Carrie Underwood and I got to see my sister and I just came back today and he actually called me in the car and so I guess he is on his next phase of boot camp. I don't really know. I don't remember what, you know, like it's colors the phases are. It's just the next phase. I don't remember what phase it is. If I remember, I'll leave it down below, but I'm pretty sure it's like the second phase. I think I looked it up and it was white. So yeah, so it is now, Jan it's January 31st and tomorrow it's February. And on February 4th, it's going to be a month since we've been apart. He said that he gets his phone once a week. During this next phase, maybe on Sundays, he'll get his phone for six hours. Which is, oh, it's going to be so amazing because I cannot wait to just talk to him and not feel forced to like hurry up and tell him everything that I need to say. And just be able to like just talk all day, you know, um... So I'm really excited and I hope that they get to do that. He is still getting my letters. He hasn't gotten anybody. He doesn't get them over the weekend. He said that he thinks he gets them on Monday. So maybe tomorrow he'll, he might get it. I don't really know. He said that May 26th is when he graduates from boot camp. And so me and Mason's family, we're all going to go up there. I'm going to try to get off the 22nd which is a Sunday and go up there because it takes like two days to drive from Florida to Missouri and then two days before his graduation it's like family day so then I'll get to see him and then graduation and then we have 10 days to take him to Georgia we can actually drive him like he doesn't have to go on a bus or anything we can drive him ourselves and um bring him to Georgia and drop him off and then that's when he starts his schooling. He told me on the phone that they're kicking a lot of people out and he's trying not to get in trouble and trying to do everything that they tell him. He's like, if that happens, I can re-enlist in six months, but hopefully he can just get through it and I know the next phases. I've watched videos on YouTube. I don't know if they're right, but I'm pretty sure they're right. That he's going to be able to do all the things that he's been wanting to do. Not like all the yelling and stuff. He'll actually be able to like think shoot guns and I don't know obstacle courses. I don't really know. But stuff that he's been wanting that's why he went there for. Um, not to get like yelled at. Because I know I would not want to like restart my whole basic training. He's going to have to go through all that again if he can re-enlist again. And so hopefully he does good. Um, he said that he's been doing better. Um, if you guys know what phase it is, please comment down below. So I guess it takes a month for all the phases that they do. Yeah, I just really cannot wait to see him. I miss him so, so much. It's like, it was hard in the beginning. And then like the couple weeks it was easy because I was busy doing things. And now I'm just like, all right. Is it over with? Is it over yet? Um, recently I got four new letters. Well, actually two of them are from the same day. I mean, he uh, completed his first aid training and they finished that on the 22nd. It says, this morning we started off our off by doing a two-point file march um, in below 30 degree weather with a bunch of wind. This is also what I saw on videos. They have to wear eye protection glasses and he said they have to wear them all day and they get really cloudy and dirty so sometimes it's like really hard to see and when they like tell them to do something you have to like squint because they can't see anything. They had to do a PT test um, on the 23rd and uh, is an assessment where you are. That's what a PT test is. And he said so instead of doing two minute push-ups and sit-ups and two mile run you have to do one minute push-ups and sit-ups and one mile run he said for my push-up he did 44 of those 23 were tricep tricep push-ups he said I couldn't even do five sit, tricep pu push-ups before I got here 23 so now he can do 23 push-up or tricep push-ups and before he can only do five like when he first got there so he's improving so much he said then I got 35 sit-ups 
and for one mile run I finished with a time of 6150. I don't know if that's a point at the beginning of that. I did so much better, better than I thought I was going to. I think I finished 20th out of 200 people on the run. So I'm really proud of him for doing that. Um, and I told him in the letter, I'm like, you're going to improve so much and it's going to be so much easier. Before it's hard, you can only do five. Now you can do like 44. That's amazing. They had to re like shave their heads because I guess it was growing too fast. And they got to listen to music. And he said he got to catch up on football while they were shaving their head. He said, I can't wait to grow out my hair. And he went to church and their church is only an hour long there. Um, he had to do laundry and, you know, he's... He holds off the laundry so he doesn't have to do it. He said my his back has been currently hurting him. So this is probably when it was starting to hurt him. But before dinner, I cleaned my assault rifle for the first time. The cleaning chemicals smelled so bad. So he has a rifle. Can you guys tell me down below, like, do you get a gun? Like a real gun the first time you're at basic training? I don't know, but that's kind of cool. And in one of these parts, I don't know where it is. But he was saying that they have to get ready because one day they're going out into like the woods and camping for a night. And I am so proud of him. <sighs> May is taking a very, very long time to get here. And I just can't, I can't even think about it because then it just is going to go by even slower. But I just wanted to make this short and sweet and tell you that he is in his next phase. And I am so proud of him and I wish I can just... Give him a big hug. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.